Well, hello guys, now here's a name, Trouble in Paradise. And if it mentions paradise, where can it be? There's only one place in my mind, Thailand. Now this news item happened in Phuket, which I actually never visited, like the only place in Thailand I didn't. I was about 30 minutes away from it, decided no. But apparently this English guy flagged a taxi down and wanted him to take him to a hotel in Phuket. They arrived at the destination and the fare was 400 baht. The man gave him what he thought was a thousand baht note. And maybe it was, we don't know. But according to the taxi driver, it was only a hundred baht note. So the English guy was expecting change. And because the Thai taxi driver wouldn't give it, because the fare was 400 baht, not a hundred baht, and for some reason wouldn't show him the note that he gave him, the English guy got violent with the taxi driver and said, give me my money, and started to strangle him. The taxi driver said he was quite scared because the man was bigger than he was. He reported the incident to the Thai police and showed him the video that he had got. The Thai police are actually actively looking for this person. But let's take a look at the banknotes and see how easy it could happen. So the note on the left is a hundred baht. It's got the new king's face on. When I was there, it was the old king's face. And the note on the right is a thousand baht. They do look very similar, but they are different colours. But this British tourist was quite lucky, really. I've seen some altercations in Thailand from Phalang, and Thais generally have weapons around them somewhere. Or the whole street and a lot of Thais will all join in. It won't be one-on-one. -on -one. And whatever the situation, they'll always back the Thai up. Call it street justice. I've seen Phalang been beaten with sticks and whatever they could find. So was the taxi driver trying to pull a fast one? And if so, the amount of money isn't very much. About eight pounds, I think it is. Does that mean you get violent with somebody? I'll put a link to the news item where there is a video. And if I was this guy, I would try and leave Thailand as quickly as possible. I personally can't see this Thai taxi driver going all to this length, considering the little bit of money it is, and going to the police as well. Maybe he didn't give the 100 baht note back or show him it, because he would take that as well. Well, of course, any holiday place has quite a few scams in Thailand. There's the jet ski scam and hiking prices up because you're a phalang. But generally speaking, you get a fair shake in Thailand. I was there for 10 years and never got angry with anybody. Certainly never physically. Anyway, guys, take a look at the story and see what you think and let me know. Uh, I'll be waiting for you to call back. <laughs> Tao rai, crap.